Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at these tiny little black boxes that are also called vectrals. But what exactly is a vectral? A vectral is an electronic component consisting out of a regular LED and a light dependent resistor. But what makes a vectral unique compared to a regular transistor is that they don't work in a simple binary on-off fashion. Instead, it responds gradually to voltage, creating a smoother and more musical response. This, together with the fact that they are a super easy way of controlling a resistance via an incoming voltage, makes them super interesting for building your rack modules. In fact, later in the video, we are going to use them for a low-pass gate that I designed. Since vectrals are a bit tricky to find nowadays, I decided to design and make my own using 3D printed enclosures. This not only gives them a distinctive look, but also allows me to experiment with different LED colors and LERs. Right here you see the design I created in Fusion 360. After printing, they look like this. Let's get them off the print bed and put one together to show you how easy it is to make your own. All we need to do is put the light dependent resistor inside the enclosure and place the LED on the opposite side. We'll still be able to figure out what is what after closing it with the lids since the legs of the LED vary in their length, therefore indicating which side of the vector is the LED and even which side of the LED is the cathode and which one is the anode. To finish the vector I like to seal it permanently using my soldering iron. Now that we know what a vectral is and built one ourselves, let's use it in a low pass gate. For that, I designed a PCB with different front panels and got them fabricated at my sponsor PCBWay. If you also want to design your own circuit boards, PCBWay is a great option to start out since the ordering process is very easy, even if you just began designing your own PCBs. For a discount, check the link in the description box. Let's get everything out of the packaging material and see what we got. These three PCBs are from a new low pass gate named Booyah Base. Let's have a closer look at the middle PCB that will later be populated with all components needed for the build, including our Vectral. Normally when designing something in KiCad, a free and open source software for PCB design, I stick to the default footprints that are usually perfectly fine for my needs. For the Vectral, however, I wasn't fully convinced the default footprint you see here makes for an easy assembly. So I went ahead and created my own. This is my version of the Vectral footprint. If you want to use it for your own project, it is available in my fork of the Eurocat library. Next up is the Zero HP standalone panel for the module. Using this, the module won't take up any rack space. As an alternative, there is the One U 8HP version that allows for proper mounting in an IntelliGel format One U your rack system. Now let's actually build one of these low pass gates. We'll start out by laying all of our components down. This includes a resistor, a capacitor, our vectral, and lastly, three of these regular Donkey Kong jacks used in your rack. We're going to start the assembly by putting in the vectral. We remember the long lag of the LED is the anode, therefore it needs to go in the hole with the plus marking on the PCB. We'll continue with the capacitor. Any value from one end to 100 nanofarads will do. It's simply a matter of taste. After putting it in, I like to bend over the legs so it doesn't fall out. Next up is the resistor. Similar to the capacitor, the polarity doesn't matter, so you can put it in either way. Again, we bend the legs so it does not fall out. And lastly, we're going to put in all three jacks. With this, everything sits properly in place and we can put one of the front panels on. Here, I chose to go with the 1U version to mount it in my case. Now all that's left to do is solder all joints from the back and snip off the capacitors and resistors legs that stick out. If 
you want to have a general guide on how to solder up a DIY module, check out one of my previous videos where I showed that in more detail. I also built another one off camera using the Zero HP panel version as you see right here. To conclude, let's have a little jam with this guy and hear how it sounds. Enjoy and see you in the next video.